Today, I'll be flying on one of the cheapest first class tickets I've ever seen on a flight that isn't just an hour long. Join me while I experience how the other half lived for six hours and make sure to watch till the end to find out how much it costs and why I was denied entry into Japan and had to fly somewhere else. Also, today's video has been sponsored by Duolingo, but for now, let's go and catch our flight. Good morning and welcome to Bangkok Airport. It's about 6.30 a.m. I'm about to fly to Tokyo, Japan for the first time ever. I am a bit late. My flight is in an hour and 10 minutes. Yeah, let me find the check-in. What's your airline? Thai Airways. Thank you. So I've just got my boarding pass. However, I realized I was in the wrong place. I did not realize there is a whole section for the check-in. Hello, how are you? Yes, that is me. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my god, they were expecting me. This is carry on. Yes, it does again. I have a feeling this first class is going to be very good. Oh, thank you. There we go. A little bottle of water in the morning. Boarding time 7:20 at gate D6. May I see the vaccination for you? Yes. For fast time. Oh, thank you. I made it through security and passport. We are now heading to the Royal First Lounge. My friend here is kindly taking my luggage. I've never had an airline actually take my bag and escort me through an airport before, which is so cool. And we've made it. Thank you so much. What is this? Butterfly pea with lamb twist. Ah, oh, lovely. And I've just got the food menu, Royal First Class. We've got a ton of different options. I should probably have some Thai dish. As you can see, I've got a traditional Thai dish, a ham and cheese toasty. It literally looks like the most basic food in the world. It is now time to head. Follow with that? Okay, thank you. Gate D6. Thank you. Moment of truth. Sadika. Yes, thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, your sister. Amazing. Thank you so much. Enjoy the flight. Wow. I will. Let me just put my bag. Thank you so much. So it's not quite 8 a.m. yet. I feel like it's only right to have champagne when you're paying so much for a flight. I need to get every single penny out of this I can. Is that how you say it? Cop and cab? Cop and cab. Cop and cab. There is eight first class seats available on this plane and only two of them are taken. Obviously myself, I'm currently sat in 2K. The other guy that is taking photos is right over there in 1A. Okay, and we have just started pushing back, as you can see. We are moving Thailand, it has been amazing. However, it's time for our next adventure in Japan. Sure, yeah, I'll try both. Perfect, thank you so much. to the loo review. I actually just need to go to the toilet. I'm gonna show you guys around because that is why I'm filming this video. It is quite nice in here. Ooh, they have this fancy plant water. I don't know what this is for. Does anyone know what plant water is? I have no idea. This is so clever. A little footstep for the bin. I have seen this before, just not on a plane, okay? All the towels have been tied up in little roses, which is a nice touch. Yeah, so there is two toilets for first class and there's only two of us, which means we have a toilet each. Do I uh, get free Wi-Fi with first or no? No. I have to pay? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. No matter how much you spend, you still have to pay for Wi-Fi. $8 just to send messages and then $25 to actually surf the web. Anyways, I'm gonna get comfy and take off my shoes. There we go. They are actually too small for me. Oh, well, thank you so much. Okay, I'm now laying the 
table. Okay, so you might have to pay for the Wi-Fi and there is no physical menu, which just baffles me. However, hopefully the food makes up for it. So it is now 2023 and one of my New Year's resolutions is to start some new habits and actually stick to them. I'll be doing a lot of traveling this year and I really want to get better with my languages, which is why I've started learning Japanese ahead of my trip using Duolingo. Duolingo is the world's best language learning app and if you didn't know, it's free and it will always be free. Their goal is to make language freely available to everyone. Hopefully this year I can actually travel around and speak to people in a language other than my own. Duolingo is better than ever as it uses cutting edge AI technology to give you personalized learning lessons in a game like format which basically makes the whole process fun. I've kind of been put off learning a language because of school. The fact that I'm able to log into the app every day and earn myself a streak, building a habit of being committed which isn't just language related. If you want to get better at a language you've already learned a bit or learn a new language out of the 40 different languages on Duolingo then all you need to do is download the world's best language learning app. Let's see who can get the biggest streak. If you use it then send me a DM on Instagram. Fingers crossed when I get to Japan I can actually maybe say a few words to people. Anyways let's get back to the video and enjoy the rest of the flight. My food is here, thank you. Got ourselves another iced latte. Thank you. It is now time for food. So this is a Thai deep fried roll. It's really sweet, wow. So I believe we are currently flying over Vietnam and the landscape is insane. Look at this. So I thought this seat had a door. I don't think it does. Unless this class is as a privacy door, it doesn't really do much. I've been super lucky that there is pretty much no one in first class. I don't have to worry about filming or anything. Anyways, enough of that. I'm gonna get stuck in, have some fruit. First up, we have the Thai breakfast. There is this Thai style omelet. I'm not sure what that is, but it stinks. I found out what they all are. This is shrimp, that is crab, this is pork, this is fish, hence the smell. It's not my ideal breakfast. It's not what I'd usually have. However, I'm in Thailand, technically not anymore, but I was in Thailand, we're on Thai Airways. Mm, Thai style omelet. That's Wagyu beef? Okay, amazing. Scallop, crab, yanagi, I don't know, eel, wow. Omelette with grilled eel. Seeing all this is making me so excited to get to Japan. So I've moved across to 2F, as you can see. And right here is our Japanese breakfast. It looks amazing. Is this a cookie or am I being stupid? I really hope this is not a cookie. I need two years on this planet and I've never had Wagyu beef. Holy fish. So I've now just about finished my food. The Japanese food was very intense. It's now time to give you a proper tour of the seat and pretty much the whole cabin. I can just walk around first class filming, which is such a rarity. So first up, you have the middle seats. The seats are so wide and there is so much space down here as well. They're a bit dirty, but I'm not sure if that's from me. I think maybe they're getting a bit old. I don't know why they're letting me do this. I'm literally treating it like a playground. The middle seats are perfect if you're traveling with a friend or your partner, but of course it is just me and you guys as usual. These seats are great, but not my preferred option. I don't think you get quite as much privacy as the window seats. The wall doesn't go up very high. I could easily look over and see the person next to me. This is my seat and I think it has a bit more privacy. And even though I don't have a proper door, just this little sliding thing. And of course the main reason, you get your own free windows. This is where you'd hang your jacket and get a suit or a coat. Underneath the ottoman we have some more storage. And here we have our Thai Airways blanket. A Porsche design box, I imagine these have the toiletries in. We've also been given some noise cancelling headphones which is great. Because, small confession, I'm sure most of you remember me flying to Bali to get my airpods. Oh no! <laughs> no! Uh, flew all the way to Bali to get these and someone just f***ing ran them over. Don't wear airpods while riding your bike. These are now my life until I can learn to look after things. Is that a joke? I broke my brand new wired earphones. Under here is your table. I don't know how this works, but you saw it earlier. Along here you have your buttons to change your seat configuration. So I think this is meant to be a massage feature. I almost forgot about the little PSP that they have. This little device can be used to control the TV. I need to figure out how to turn off this massage chair. I can just hear the machine turning on every few seconds. Let's see how long they take to come after pressing the service button. It is being pressed. Do you know how to turn off the massage? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. 
Thank you very much. Another cool feature about this seat is the ottoman. You basically have another seat in your seat should you wish to have dinner with another passenger or have a meeting. It is now time to open up this little box here. First up, we have hand sanitizer, body cream. Now this one actually is facial mist. I have a feeling the stuff I used in the toilet wasn't. Okay, we have an aftershave. Here is the eye mask. They provide you some earplugs if there's an annoying YouTuber reviewing first class in your flight. Toothbrush and toothpaste has to be Colgate. That fit nicely in that. And finally, we have these noise cancelling headphones. They actually look and feel really good. Enough of Drake, we have just been served our lunch. I've got a salmon bagel, nothing less, nothing more. And then finally we have this Thai dessert. This is like a sweet, it looks like a tomato. Mmm, that tastes really good actually, very interesting taste. This is a special, a special orange juice. Yeah, fresh. Oh, fresh, wow, thank you so much. That's squish. So we have about 45 minutes until landing and I still haven't yet tested out the best feature of flying first class. Of course, it's the fact you have your own lie flat bed. I'm about six foot. That's what I tell girls. I'm probably about 5'11 and a half. Oh my God, this is such a nice blanket. It's a shame I don't have any time to sleep on this flight. It is so nice and warm. Oh, I was mid-dream. The seatbelt light has just gone on, which means I need to sit up, right? Signature of wow. Thai. Yeah, this looks amazing. What the hell? Thank you. It's been amazing. The crew and the service on this flight is just amazing. The overall experience has just been insane. And considering how much I paid, this was a very good deal. And that right there is my first ever sight of Japan. I cannot wait to explore this country and take you guys along with me. Thank you so much. Bye. Welcome to Japan. Okay, so it looks like I'm not fully vaccinated. I have a Johnson & Johnson one shot, but Japan require three shots. I didn't realize I could have just got a PCR test and I'd be allowed in, but it's too late now, so I have to leave. Oh my God, I'm such a tit. Currently sat in this room. No photos allowed. <laughs> and just like that, we are on another flight. They also spelled my name, Ben Gamin. <laughs> I can now reveal to you guys the price I paid for this flight. It cost me £1,579 for a one-way flight from Bangkok to Tokyo, Narita. It's a lot cheaper than first class and pretty much every other airline. Let me know what you guys think. Is it worth it? Would you pay that money to experience first class? And finally, don't forget to download the world's best language learning app, Duolingo, down below. 